We have Team 3 coverage of today's decision and reaction to the ruling. Let's start with Matt Petrillo. He's outside the Cosby home in Elkins Park. Matt? Yeah, Yuki, right now there is a single protester. You might be able to hear me um, kind of just screaming a few things just outside of Bill Cosby's home. He came outside just behind that fence around 445 this afternoon. It was the first time he, we saw him. He said nothing, instead leaving that to his spokesperson. Mr. Cosby, conviction being overturned is for the world and all Americans who are being treated unfairly by the judicial system and some bad officers, because all, all officers are not bad. Earlier today, Eyewitness News was there as Cosby was riding in the passenger seat of this car and into a flurry of cameras and Cheltenham police officers before entering his property. Neighbors watched the activity from their homes. I definitely welcome him home. I'm sorry that he had to go through uh, that. Uh, I didn't believe that he was uh, guilty of any of those things. He's not unwelcome. This is where he lives, and the courts found overturned it, so he has every right legally to be home. But yeah, I won't be having a parade or anything like that for him. I think it's going to upset a lot of people, and I think there's going to be some people that are relieved. I think most people that are going to be upset are the, the women who are not going to feel vindicated. Uh, we also heard from Bill Cosby's legal team this afternoon, who heard last Thursday about his impending release. I have many clients. They say the time either does you or you do the time. Mr. Cosby was doing that time. Mm -hmm. He, the time was not doing him. He flourished in prison in the sense that he was um, a, a mentor and to other inmates. He kept a positive out, uh, outlook. Um, he stood by his principles, and he really was impressive, really impressive. And I just talked to him last week, and he was in it for the long haul. As you already know, he had an opportunity to participate in the parole process and chose not to because he wasn't going to admit to being something he was not. And one of the very first things we were told Cosby did after arriving to his home was take a short nap. Reporting live in Elkins Park, Matt Petrillo, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Okay, Matt, thank you.